After skin cancer, breast cancer is the second most common cancer in women, and each year there are about 230,000 new cases affecting moms, daughters, sisters, aunts, and friends. A local woman is devoted to removing the scars of the disease, helping women feel whole again. I have stage four metastatic breast cancer. In the beginning, it, it meant death. You know, you have to go through the, the process of grief, anger, fear, to get to that place of, what am I gonna do about this? A wife fighting for her life. My husband, who I love so much, who's told me this whole time, my only job is to get well. My mother died at 50 years old. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2004 when I was 36. I had a bilateral um, total mastectomy um, with nipple uh, removal and then reconstruction in 2005. A survivor not only battling the emotional but physical scars of a disease most patients insist are usually suffered in shame and silence. It's private. Mm -hmm. This is a private matter. This isn't something that you just discuss publicly. I am coming forward because I want to help at least one woman become whole or feel whole again. Loss of hair, eyebrows, plus severe scars, serving as a vivid visual reminder of an illness both Michelle Brown and Michelle Teosis would like to forget. I kind of disengaged from my body. I didn't look at my breasts. I just stayed dressed. I eventually started to get depressed. In hopes to free their bodies from the aesthetic aftermath of chemotherapy and radiation. Most of them, they come here and they have, they don't see nothing else but scar. Both women booked appointments with micropigmentation specialist Ruth Swissa. It's going to be the first time I'm going to see this. Okay. Right. Okay, hold on. I feel so whole. Ah. I feel like I did before I had my mastectomy. What? It's incredible. She has a talent that gives us as women the ability to regain our femininity, to regain the things that cancer has stolen from us. The problem with the permanent makeup and areola pigmentation process, Swiss says sometimes is not covered by insurance. How to solve it? Both Michelles suggest becoming an anonymous angel. Today is the best day ever. And you say, why? Because we're in it. This is it. This is all we get. Today, this moment is the best moment ever. Now, if you want to help or can become an anonymous angel and donate money for other patients, just head to ktla.com slash problem solvers.